Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more topic in DBMS that is schema and instance. So what is the schema and what is the instance? So coming to the schema, the schema in a database is treated as a structure of any database is represented as a schema okay so not the data it's a structure so consider some student table consider the student table so student can be identified by using a roll number name some college etc etc so this is called structure and here we call it as a schema so schema is a structure which the database follows is known as schema now this schema is divided into three categories okay and this database design will be done in three tiers three levels so the first level physical level and the second one logical level level 3 view level right so here the schema that means the design of a database can be done in three different levels physical logical and view level so let me explain about this one and this process we call it as a three schema database okay three schema three type okay so let me explain here so this is the database physical logical So, this is a view level, okay. So, this is called a physical schema, physical schema or a physical level and this is a logical schema or a logical level. And this is a view schema and this physical schema is also known as the internal level internal level and this logical schema is also called as a conceptual level conceptual level and this view schema is also called as an external level so let us see what happens here so this physical schema means the design of a database done at the physical level is known as a physical schema and the conceptual level that means the, the database design done at the conceptual level is known as a logical schema and the database design done at the external level is known as view schema and here in this view schema 
there will be a different views okay now coming to the physical physical schema here the data is stored in a physical storage that means how the data is stored how the data is stored in a storage okay in a storage that means in terms of files okay or indexes so in order to retrieve the data we will use a indexes so like this example like files okay files in folders files or folders etc etc that is the data stored in the database okay i mean the storage storage device and the next one is a logical schema logical schema so here how the data is stored in terms of the logical constraints okay how the data is actually stored that means in terms of tables so what are the constraints so logical constraints logical constraints right attributes what are the attributes relationship the relationship between attributes so everything will be designed everything will be designed in this particular logical level right so logical constraints means what is a primary key what is a uh, uh, foreign key everything right so here the implementation details will be hidden okay the in the logical schema the implementation details will be hidden but it designs the complete uh, this how the data is stored in the tables that means how what are the attributes and what are the logical constraints and how the tables will be related one one with each other etc etc will be designed here and coming to the view schema coming to the view schema so how the user interacts with the database right how the user end user okay so this completely deals with the end user interaction with a database with a database so this will be done in the view schema so different users will view differently okay different views users will view differently okay so this is a view schema which is also called as an external level so that's why we are having a multiple views multiple views so based upon the user the view will be changed okay so end user interaction with the database so this is completely the schema what exactly the schema so let us take an example i will tell you the example so so if you are having a website okay so college website college website so here i am giving some roll number so i am having one text box so it it will ask me about the roll number so i need to enter the roll number here and if you submit the button right enter this roll number some 101 and enter the submit button so immediately i will get the details of a student in a form right so see roll number photo photo of the student name some branch cgpa okay some placement details placement details so i need to i am getting this one okay i'm just entering the roll number and after uh, clicking on the submit button i'm getting this page which consists of all the details of a students along with the photo photograph so this is called a view schema view schema so from where we are getting this roll number name branch cgp and placement details and including the photograph so here we are entering only the roll number okay here the input is only the roll number 
but we are getting the complete profile of a student. So whatever the profile we are observing or which is visible to the user, that we call it as a view schema. So in such a way, the database has been designed. Okay, so this is called the end user interaction, end user interaction. So this is, this is how, okay, actually the data will not be stored in the database in this format. So in the database, the data will be stored in different format. But so coming to the user uh, view, we are getting in this way. So this is called a view schema. So actually this roll number name branch student will be taken in this way. So roll number name branch CGPA placement. So this is a table. This is a student table. Right? So this is a student table and we are having a different records here. We are having different records. So we are having a 101, 102, some 103, right? So this is how the data is designed in the logical level. So here the primary key is a roll number. So which, which is an unique identifier of the tuple. Okay, which is a unique identifier of a tuple. So roll number based upon the roll number we are getting all these details okay so this is how the logical schema this is how the logical schema is defined okay so what is a table what are the attributes these are called the attributes right and what is a primary key what is a foreign key so etc all the logical constraints and how this table is related to another table right so everything will be designed in this logical schema and coming to the physical schema, how actually these details will be stored in the database. So this is the database, right? So how the, these details will be stored in the database? So that means in a storage device, in a storage device. So that we call it as a physical schema, right? So hope you understood this one. So this is the schema. Schema st is nothing but a structure of a database, structure of a database, right? Now. What is an instance? So is the instance and schema both are equal? Exactly, it is not, both are not equal. So both are different, right? So instance means a view of a database at a particular moment or a particular time, right? So let me tell you this one. So coming to the instance, So it is a view of a database, a view of a database at a particular, at a particular instance of time, instance of time. So the data, data available in the database may change frequently, right? So for example, today we are having some 50 student records right so uh, records of 50 students so maybe so tomorrow let it be a few more students have been added right let it be some 75 students have been added so at that particular moment so this is a view of a database so at an instance means which i mean the data of a database can be changed frequently that means the instance will be changed from time to time but the schema is a structure which will be fixed and uh, we have to follow the schema so that structure of a database so we can't change the schema frequently right so that is a major difference between the schema and instance so schema can be categorized into three levels so uh, internal level conceptual level and the external level internal level means database design at the physical physical level and conceptual level means the database design at the logical level and the external level the database design at end user interaction that means a view level okay so it will be having the multiple views so this is about the difference between the schema and instance so hope you understood this difference so if you are having any doubts regarding this instance and schema 
Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.